what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below now i know y'all don't there's some haters about the music chick but i don't give a damn prince is channeling during the pre-shuffle do me baby like you never done before and it's that part here we are in this big old empty room staring each other down oh try and come through with confirmation okay here we are in this big old empty room Staring each other down. You want me just as bad as I want you. I'm going to let that train go by. Because hold up. Spirit trying to confirm to me this energy. Keep doing what you're doing, Tiff. When it comes to music, that's where I get my shit from, okay? I have the door open. It's beautiful. It's rainy. let's go back here we are in this big old empty room staring each other down you want me just as much as i want you let's stop fooling around take me baby kiss me all over play with my love mm. bring out what's been in me for far too long that's all I've been dreaming about. Mmm, do me, baby. Somebody is missing you sexually. Mmm, 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 mmm. And when they see you again, when they get to be around you, and this isn't just about sex. There's something about the intimacy. There's about something about making love with you. There's something about the chemistry, the vibe, the magnetism. Here, I feel like you and this person are going to end up in an empty room. Maybe give them a chance. Maybe hang out with them. Okay. Here we are in this empty room. Hmm. Staring each other down. You want me just as bad as I want to. I want you. So let's stop playing around. What do we got? Mm-hmm. Somebody is is about oh okay. So the reason why somebody is holding back is because of the past. There is something that happened in the past where you and this person thought you moved on. You and this person thought you had closure. You and this person thought it was over. You focused on yourself. You focused on your self worth. You took your time to heal. You did, this person did their shadow, shadow work. And as you thought that you guys were moving on and this closure was for here because it says closure issues, here they come. Okay, receiving what you need, arriving. All right? And now here you and this person, after you put in this self work, after you've done this work, after you thought you've healed, after this person has done their shadow work and you both thought you moved on, you guys both know that there's still some closure issues. Neither one of you got the closure that you needed from this situation. So here you are. Wow. Reminiscing. Keepsake. Perception. Learned from the past. Made mistakes. Somebody made mistakes in the past and they've learned from them. And some, but these two people really thought they have moved on until they come to each other face to face. Here we are in this big old empty room staring each other down. You want me just as bad as I want you. So let's stop fooling around. Mm. Take me, baby. Kiss me all over. Play with my love. This is all I've been dreaming about. Bring out what's been inside of me for too long. This is all I've been dreaming about. Ooh, we, you and this person thought you had moved on, but the separation really helped both of you guys to do self-work, to do shadow work, 
to miss each other more. And now the two of you guys, when you guys both think you've moved on and y'all are okay, here y'all come face to face. And those butterflies come in the stomach. And all those feelings come rushing back. You want this person just as bad as they want you. Look, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, wanting to make new memories. Let's stop fooling around. You want me just as bad as I want you. Do me, baby, like you never done before. Mm, you might have done this person like they've never done before. We got the phoenix. A new phase, rekindling this relationship, renew transformation, grow changed mind. You might change your mind about this person. You might thought you both, both of you guys might thought you had moved on. But once you guys see each other and you guys are face to face, it's like everything comes rushing back. And here you both of you guys are ready to rekindle this relationship, renew this you guys have seen the growth in both one another. And maybe somebody's going to change their mind about moving on. Because there was still closure issues. And that's why somebody might have agreed to, to meet up face to face. Look, bottom of the deck, soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. You and this person are soulmates. You guys signed the contract before you guys came to this earth. You knew what you guys were going to go through. This is your person. And even though both of you guys thought you moved on, both of you guys still held on to something like there was no closure in the end. And like I said, when you guys see each other, because both of you guys have taken time out to do self-work, you and this person are going to rekindle and renew this, this, this connection, and it's going to move into a new phase. Y'all might even like them butterflies and like, mm, do me, baby, like you never done before. Oh my gosh. It's going to be like the first time all over again with this person. Mm. For some reason, Spirit wants me to pull one more, but I'm going to put that soulmates there, okay? Do me, baby, like you never done before. Mm. What you got for him, spirit? Love call. Look. Love call. Someone expresses their love. A message of love. Thinking of you. Letting you know that they're thinking about you. Do me, baby. You and this person want each other just as bad as the other one. And I feel like even if like, okay, y'all see each other. Y'all ain't just gonna jump in bed and start banging each other. No, those feelings are gonna start coming rushing back to the both of you guys, right? Then they're gonna start thinking about you. Then you're gonna be on their mind. Then you're gonna, one of you guys are gonna receive this call from the other person. And then it's, it's an expression of their love. A message of love, thinking of you, letting you know that, damn, I really miss you. I want to meet up with you. I love you just as much as the day that we left each other. Wow, the sword and the root. Truth, clarity, revelation, protection, power. This person is coming in with some clarity and some truth with you. Even they, they, though they do want it, do me, baby, I feel like you are going to accept. They're going to call you or you're going to call them. Y'all might end up getting getting together, okay? And then that's when the do me, baby comes in. Because I don't think you guys are just going to, like, see each other and jump on each other's bones. I think it's going to, like, really cause both of you guys a lot of feelings to arise out of the blue. Where it's like, fuck. I thought I was over this person, but I'm not. I'm still in love with them, right? I still miss the fuck out of them. And somebody can't help it. They reach out to the other person. Both of you guys have done the work on yourselves. And I feel like you will agree to meet up. And when you do meet up, y'all are going to be alone. They might come to your house. You might come to theirs. Y'all might go out to eat and then invite each other in. Y'all are both sitting alone in this... Big old room all alone, staring each other down. 
knowing that each other wants each other just as bad as the other. So let's stop fooling around. This is a craving that I'm feeling. Come and kiss me and hold me. Give me something that I've went without for far too long. Mm, something I've been dreaming about. Mm. They lied in the past. They were dishonest with you. But at the end of the day, they can't lie about the chemistry that they have with you. They have never felt a passion. Do me, baby. Like you never done before. Mm. They have never had a feeling or a passion like this with anybody else. Never have felt this passion this intense with anybody else. I'm telling you, like, yeah, y'all are both sitting there and those feelings arise and y'all want each other so badly. But at the same time, there's something in the back of your head where you remember that this person had lied to you. They were dishonest. They had betrayed you at one point. And that's the reason that you guys were ripped apart in the first place. But when you give in to this person and you're like, yeah, I'll meet up with you. Somebody's going to give the other person a call and make an offer and be like, yeah, I'll meet up with you. Wow, this has given this person being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. This time away from you has allowed this person to realize what they were missing. How much they truly are in love with you. They want you just as bad as you want them. Mm -mm, and they can't hide it anymore. Because they've never felt a chemistry like they have with you. And when they see you out in public or wherever they see you, all those feelings are going to come rushing back for the both of you guys. Because you are both true soulmates. And you're going to have a doubt in your mind. Because at one point they lied to you and they tore this relationship apart. But at the end of the day, you and this person cannot deny the chemistry that you have with one another. Neither one of you guys have felt a passion this intense for anybody else ever. So come and do me, babe. Look, unresolved issues. Wasn't that there before when I split the deck? unfinished business there's a lot of unfinished business between the, the two of you a lot of unresolved issues and no closure and looks at what's on the other side when it came to this relationship bottom of the deck split deck y'all are gonna end up reconnecting and reconnecting in a way that is so much different than it was in the past you and this person even though you guys think that you have moved on and that everything is fine Nah, baby, you and this person have a lot of unfinished business with one another. There is a lot of an unresolved situation with one another. And when y'all get together and y'all see each other face to face, mm, 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 I want some of what y'all finna get. Damn, I'm jealous. Let's see, though. Let's see what else here. Somebody could have negative influences and friends, okay? This could have been something that they had lied about that helped pull you guys apart in the past, all right? But there is something that's going to happen. Like, there's going to be a sense of loneliness and, oh my gosh, it's over, we'll never speak again. Then, unexpectedly, all of a sudden, there's going to be a shocking twist and a shocking turn. You guys are going to see each other face to face. You guys are going to think about this chemistry and passion that neither one of you have ever felt with anybody else. Somebody's going to be in a, end up receiving this love call from their soulmate, right? One of these soulmates are going to have a doubt because of the dishonesty and the fact that they let their friends influence them in the past. But this person has done some self-work. This person has done some shadow work. And they're ready to rekindle, look, honesty. They're ready to be honest. They're ready to be real. They're ready to tell the truth. This person with this love call, they're being honest. Yeah, they miss you sexually. Yeah, do me, baby. But at the end, <laughs> y'all ain't trying to be funny, but shit, that's just, shit. Yeah, do me, baby. Yeah, they want that too. You do too. Don't act like you don't, okay? But they're being honest. They're coming in with some true, real, honest feelings that they have never felt a chemistry like they have with you. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be all of a suddenly. 
And I feel like even like you, when you see this person out in public somewhere, that's going to be a shock. And it's going to bring you into this feeling of like anxiety, thinking about this person. It's going to shock this person. This person didn't expect to see you somewhere out in public. I don't feel like y'all are just going to jump each other's bones, but it's going to lead to like the other person reaching out. Then you guys getting together and then sitting there with one another, knowing that each one of you guys want each other just as bad as the other one wants. Mm. And then it's going to lead into, and even though there's going to be a guard up with somebody about somebody's dishonesty and their, their fake ass bad influence, I feel like somebody just can't resist. Yeah, look, signs, meanings, love. Somebody's in love. Somebody can't ignore the signs. Somebody can't ignore the meanings. Somebody knows that this is their soulmate. So even though there's that doubt in the back of somebody's mind, I feel at the end of the day, there is shit. You and this person going to end up alone in a room together. Feelings being brought right back up, thinking you guys moved on and y'all overcoming these obstacles. These blockages are over. It's in the reverse. Overcoming obstacles. Both of you guys going through spiritual awakenings, realizing this person, realizing that you are the person that they are in love with, that they want to be with you. And it could even come with a proposal, a commitment. Even if it's not a proposal, it's a commitment. They know the grass is greener with you. And look, magnetic attraction, passion. Wasn't that in the other deck too? They have no other magnetic attraction or passion or feeling or chemistry with anybody else like they do with you. And that's why that's that do me, baby. Me and you sitting in this room all alone, staring each other down, knowing that I want you just as bad as you want me. Let's stop playing around. Shit, they ready to come in and show you. Not only are you about to be dicked you down, dicked you <laughs> or cooched you down, however it goes. Not only are you about to bust you three or four of them, you and this person are about to go into a way unexpected, into a brand new phase, a, a, a rekindling of a relationship and a brand new phase that neither one of you guys expected. Just from seeing somebody shockingly out in public and all those feelings coming back. Okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.